here's the polar bear story. Buckle up, buttercup. So this is in Cincinnati. So I decided to take my two-year-old to the zoo, because that's what you do with two-year-olds. You take them to the zoo, because they're rambunctious, crazy, little firecracker animals. So why not put them by other animals? Like any two-year-old story, we get them all hyped up. So this is a two-hour hype session. Eating a little breakfast, she got it from her nap. And so this whole time we're talking about, we're going to the zoo. She's repeating it. We're going to the zoo. We're just like, that hype train's coming hard, like March Madness. It's coming. Everybody's a Duke fan around March Madness time. We get our snacks. Mothers, give me some hearts if you can appreciate. You're going on a roadie. You better have some snacks for those two-year-olds. So we've got snacks. we got bags. we got diapers. we got water. Packed into the car. 25-minute journey over to the zoo. Get that little Muppet out of the car. Strollers unpacked. Get those same snacks we just talked about. Get the diapers, get the water, get the bags. So as you know, the baby paraphernalia, we're rolling deep. We're ready to party at the zoo after doing all those zoo animal noises on the drive over. So we're walking up to the zoo, see the entrance. A nice elderly woman comes up to us and says, oh honey, are you coming or going? Ma'am, we're coming. We, you see my stuff, you see the snacks? We're definitely coming. And then a polar bear escaped its cage and they had to close the zoo. What? Child, please! Cincinnati Zoo, get it together. You're letting polar bears go running around like crazy. What are you guys doing? I didn't see the polar bear out of the cage. So here I am, two-year-old, hold my hand, just a little sweaty, chubby mitt. She can see the zoo entrance in the distance. She's got a little backpack on. So I have to turn, can't go to the zoo. I know you see it right there. We can't go. I'm sorry. Let's turn around. Let's get back in the car. The tears, like the raw emotion, because she just rode that train I put her on, the two-hour hype train that we talked about. Yeah, she rode that thing hard. And now we got to pack it up, get it right back into that car. Ugh. The tantrum, you know, I just really let it play out. Moms, I let it go because, frankly, if I was her, I'd be upset too. You know what? Scream it out, girl. Get it. I wasn't above a bribe, might have gotten her some banana bread from Starbucks because that's how all adults solve their problems is a little banana bread from Starbucks. And we went downtown instead. So here are my takeaways. A couple of things. One, Cincinnati Zoo. Let's get it together. I mean, why can't we have like a flamingo get loose? I don't know. I think they have like those, maybe a penguin. Let's get, let's let some of those guys run around, see what happens with those. The polar bear, really? I'm assuming it was a big one. It's not one of the babies just opening up the gates, skittering out. Cincinnati, get it together. Number two, I don't see it as a parenting fail. I see it as a win. A little Starbucks, a little down by the river. Everybody wins. This escalated quickly. If you enjoyed this, swipe, share it over on Facebook, share it over on Twitter, over on Instagram at Hustle and Lift, or look up the hashtag Chasing Iron Will. When your mom and your husband's out of town, you don't party on St. Patrick's Day. So I'm about to party with this LaCroix right here. Things are about to get real crazy up in her.